What's a good ratio of water dilution to ink to reduce the feathering of Bay State Blue? Um, well, I'll talk about Bay State Blue, but really this is kind of true for just about any ink, so I'll just broaden that up a little bit. Um, you know, in general, you can sometimes dilute the ink with water to reduce feathering. Bay State Blue is formulated a little bit different than some other inks, and I, I honestly don't know everything that goes into it to even tell you exactly why it's different. I know it's a higher pH than most other inks. Um, excuse me, that's about all I know from a chemical perspective about what makes Bay State Blue different. It's not mixable with other inks except for the other two Bay State inks. Um, so it's just a little different kind of ink. But in general, when you're talking about uh, diluting ink, you can dilute it about 10% before you'd really start to notice any difference in color. That might vary depending on how saturated the ink is with dye. The more saturated the color is, the more you could dilute it without noticing a difference necessarily. Um, but in general, about 10% dilution will help some of those you know, qualities without sacrificing the color. You go more than 10%, you're going to start to run into some, some uh, a more of a watery looking ink, as you would expect, as you're adding water to it. Um, I would use distilled water. You, know, you can use tap water if you have no other choice. Um, it's just, you know, realize that whatever minerals or deposits that you have in your water uh, would then be in your ink, and it might affect that quality of that ink over the long haul um, in terms of, like, stuff that could grow in it or, you know, just whatever mineral deposits that could end up in your pen. In, in that small amount of ink, you know, it's probably not going to make too huge of a difference. You're talking about, you know, a $12, $50, $13 bottle of ink. It's not going to be the end of the world if you dilute it with a little bit of tap water. But the, the correct thing to say is to use distilled water because you don't have mineral deposits in that water. So that's what I'll say. Um, but then, um, let's see here, where was I? Um, in general, you could go to about a 25% uh, dilution, and that would you would start to see a little bit of color difference, um, but it wouldn't be super drastic. You go more than that, and you're going to really start to notice a difference, and it's going to really start to change the properties of the ink as well. Um, depending on the ink, so basically what happens is the more saturated the ink is, the more dye uh, is in the ink, dye is drier than water. So ink is basically made of dye, water, and some other things like biocides and stuff like that. Um, but in general, the more water you add, uh, the drier it tends to make it. Now, what's interesting about that is, you know, you think like, okay, dye is really dry, so why is adding water to it making it drier? Well, to counteract the dye that's put in there that's very dry, they add lubricants, okay, in general. Um, so the more lubricant you add, the more likely you are to have things like feathering and um, extended dry time and uh, nib creep and stuff like that where the ink comes up onto the nib. Um, and so when you have a very heavily saturated ink color, Bay State Blue is fairly saturated, um, uh, and a lot of Noodler's inks, a lot of Private Reserve, uh, Diamine, Detrimentus, those things, a lot of them are very saturated, so they tend to have more lubricants in them. So they'll flow very nicely with the lubricants, um, but if it flows too much and has too much feathering and stuff like that, if you add water to it, you're diluting the dye a little bit, but you're also diluting the lubricant. So you're actually going to be cutting down some of that lubricant and making the water a little bit uh, drier. So that's kind of an interesting little thing. Uh, you might not have quite the same drastic effect if you're using a more uh, or a less saturated ink such as like Jay Urban or Lamy or you know some of the basically any of the inks that are made by the actual pen companies they tend to have less saturated inks just in general so um, the last thing I'm going to say about that is I would tend to mix it in small batches you don't want to take your you know three ounce bottle of Noodlers and just start dumping water in it because if you screw something up or you don't like the dilution you ruin an entire bottle of ink so I would start with a small like sample vial you know like the normal um, you know this kind of sample vial and go like maybe two three five milliliters whatever you want um, you, you can't go too small because then it's really hard to how do you do 10 percent of one milliliter that's like a few drops of water you could try that but it's not going to be as exact the larger the sample you use the more precise you can get with your measurement. Um, so I would go maybe a few milliliters, like two to five, somewhere around there, and you should be pretty good.